Ah, dang. In the mountains of Georgia, the weather is absolutely stunning. This uh, park to get into it was three lorry. One dollar under. And uh, that's a beautiful area. It's so green here in the summer. It's insane. It kind of like how much fun we did have in Dubai and India. We only did cities. It kind of makes me sad now that we're leaving. That it's summer, the weather is perfect, and we're going back home. We're not even going to get to explore Georgia out in the wilderness, which was our original plan, was spend kind of the winter in the city and then go out into the wilderness for the spring and summer and then go through Europe, through the wilderness. It didn't go to plan. And now we're leaving and the best time to hike. But we'll be back. We'll be back. It was a paid tour. We didn't want a paid tour. So we're driving. <laughs> this road has gotten very tight. Oh, baby. I think this is a rental car. We own this fragger. We can destroy it. This is an epic road. This forest is thick and they don't seem to have any hiking trails into it. But we have this road, so it's all good. We'll get to the other side and then there'll just be a person waiting. Would you like to pay a tour? Uh, no, thank you. There was just two random poles right there into the forest. Was that a hiking trail? More poles. Oh, it's the border. Is that a hiking trail? It seems to only go for five feet. Oh, really? Well, there's another one right here. There's some like parking almost right here. Pull up. I want to see what this fragging thing is. Looks like someone drove in there. Oh. We'll update. We'll update you when we get there. Epic road. It doesn't. It's led to nothing. There's just random pullouts, and then there's these random signs that are like, "You're next to the nature reserve." I don't know what's happening. But this is here, and it's on Google Maps. What the frack was that? I don't know what that was, but that did not sound good. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? This is very overgrown. Oh yeah. Our road, nice, nice. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Uh, buddy, what the frack? You can't drive fast enough for a good skit. Oh, what the, hey, hey! This is what we're dealing with right now. <laughs> Getting the exhaust. Oh yeah. Hey guys, Isaac Traveler here. Oh, Isaac Traveler. Let's see where we go with this. This is so, the, the road is just insane. And then you have the fracking view. It is beautiful when you can actually see it. It's usually just super thick uh, trees everywhere so you can't really see it. Maybe this will lead us to the best view in Georgia. Who bloody knows. The car was running out of gas, so now we're walking. <laughs> See where we can get with this path. It is, it's, I mean, it's literally just a hiking trail that we could drive on. Straight through the woods. And destroy the bottom of the car. Wait. The car probably won't be drivable anymore. It's just gone, so. It won't start next time. That's, that'd be very, very bad. Very, very bad. We're out here. We are. Oh, it would be hard to uh, save us. <laughs> we'd have to, we'd have to jog into town. One hand would have the water. One hand would have pineapple juice for hydration. <laughs> oh, we got our uh, boxes of it. It's delicious. 
don't really know where this is gonna end up. Hey, we're just going along the side of this uh, reserve. We're pretty far up it from the drive, so maybe this will lead us to epic view. Maybe it'll lead us to um, the Persian. Keep going. It, it probably will. It looks like it goes for a long time, but it might lead us to Persian leopard den, which would be good footage. <laughs> It sounds like a parademon! I don't think anybody can hear us yell for once. We did not see a car on this road, and we've been driving on it for 20 minutes, probably. <laughs> we are out here in the wilderness, all alone. Wilderness. We haven't been this far into wilderness since, like, the last summer in Iceland. <laughs> we haven't we haven't wildernessed that much. I and guess in uh, Florida wilderness. Valley of Fire, maybe we got out decently far, but... Ooh! Yeah, there's just roads that keep going in randomly, and then ones that just go down the side. Alright, we just came across this sign, and apparently somebody's license plate is on here, which can only mean one thing. They were killed by the tribe that inhabits this area, and they're warning everybody, don't come in here, or we will end your life as well. Let's go. Did you say a tribe? A tribe. They're called the George tribe. The original George was from here. Let's find them. We're trying to find this fracking tribe. And we're going through the jungle to do it. They killed Johnny Harris. Johnny Harris, they, the most overdramatic man in the world. They killed him. That was his license plate. No. He's got thornies on him. You know what? Ah. I'm done. No. That's it. Oh, Johnny. Johnny. Uh, we were walking on the road and we saw a path, uh, a path that went up the mountain a bit. And this is it currently. <laughs> it got, it was a bit more open and now it's uh, closed. <laughs> I don't know what animal path we're following currently. But it's something. It's probably that Persian leopard we were talking about. We were, we're known to follow animal paths. We're hoping there's no poison ivy, but there could be. That would kind of suck. I mean, I got E. coli. I might as well just go for it at this point. Did I just rub up against it? Hopefully not. I don't even know if they have poison ivy in Europe. That might be a North American invention. Fox. So dendron species do not grow in Europe. Oh, we're fine. Let's fracking go. Did you just say wait after I rode my leg on a leaf? Um, <laughs> it's red. Nah. There's a path. Can you see it? It's there. I feel like we're discovering the Amazon. I don't even know if we're like in the park anymore either. It's probably <laughs> just out there. That's gotta be a mine. An old Soviet mine. Oh, is it a mime? If there was a mine, that'd be really <laughs> fracking scary. It just sits out. <laughs> we just see it way down there. Just. <laughs> I don't know. I would want to record, but also I think we'd have to run instantly. <laughs> we'd run and then it would be behind us. Then all of a sudden. <laughs> and then <laughs> we... we'd start. Oh! Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right, well, let's see what we can get. It's getting a lot thornier. The frack, it goes over there. That, I thought it went down to the right. Yeah, same, but then I saw that. That's much clearer That's than that one. What the frack is happening? We may never return and we may get lost. Let's see. We'll see what happens. Tick season is all year apparently in Georgia. But it didn't seem like they had deer ticks, so maybe we won't die. I once got 18 ticks in one day. That was quite the experience. I was in the woods behind my grandma's house and my whole family went out there and we got chased by security guards in the park and I got 18 ticks. 
because I was counting. After I got to like, oh, after I got to like number five, I was like, oh, frack, this is a ridiculous amount. I should start counting. I got 18. Ow. Oh, is it fracky in the back of the lake? Oh, that one. These things got some massive spookarooners on them. Super big. It's like a fragging jungle out here. I'm having to bend over more and more. We will soon be army crawling. It got me. Out, fracking got me. You got got? I got got. It won't let me go. Your shirt almost blends in with the trees and the GoPro. I'm a tree. I think I just saw a tree. Guess what? Guess what? It was me. What? <laughs> you were the tree? There's a death hole down there. Into the death hole. Whoa. Why does that look deep? Um. Is it? It looks even deeper. Dude, what the frack? Is it literally a death hole? What the frack? There's just so many fracking caves in Georgia. The world's largest cave is in Georgia. So I guess it makes sense that there's just random caves all over the fracking place. That is so deep. Should we spelunk into there? Easy. There's a lot of spider webs. Ooh. I gotta say, once again, taking the route less traveled. Um, I remember when I was looking up best things to do in Georgia, this path always was number one, so. Seriously? It's actually a pretty poppin' tourist destination. Dang, I didn't know that. It's For just right. low season right now. Mm, makes sense. And low season means zero people <laughs> in an hour. <laughs> Not even the road had people. And now we're just in the woods next to the road. Casually finding a deep cave. True, what if that's actually the world's deepest cave we just found, but no one's ever discovered it? It fracking could be. We what? need it to be investigated. We need to report it to the Georgian cave officials. Oh, I can stand up. Ah! Ah! Alright, nice little stand-up break. Oh, stand-up break, I like it. You can't even see like what's directly below us or what's directly above us. Like we have no idea what our elevation is, like how high we're up this mountain. We know absolutely nothing. To us, it's been the same the whole time. <laughs> Trees. Ow. Ooh. Ow. It'd be nice if... Ow, frick. Ooh, it'd be nice if uh, there were... this actually just led us closer to our car. We're just taking the scenic route. The cave might have led us to our car, you never know. But that also might be where the tribe lives. The tribe. Oh my, what the frack is this thing? What the heck? That looks fake. It's like something that a mom would put in their house once they redesign it after they turn like 50 years old. <laughs> That's very specific. <laughs> Oddly specific. This thing is nutty looking. You should jump onto this. Cactus style, like in Vegas? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gotten dark all of a sudden. Is it gonna start pouring? That would be very poor for us. Nice pun. <laughs> Turns out that article drop down menu said, it's nice that Europe doesn't have any poison ivy, except for Georgia, they have a lot. And it doesn't show symptoms until three hours later. <laughs> You actually won't know until you get above, until you get on an airplane. And then it will be excruciating. This is a really mysterious place because it seems like people have gone on this trail, but it also just might be fracking animals of some sort. The most mysterious place, you know, all of Georgia. <laughs> oh, there, it's a perpetual fog surrounding it at all times. We'll update you. Where we get, and if it starts raining and we have to mudslide down this fracker, that'll be quite the, the film. It's just a fracking like sinkhole. I mean, uh, looking at the land, I would say so. 
There's a, we thought this was another big fracking cave. We are out here. This is so cool. <laughs> There's so much vegetation in this forest. There's one thing we get to do before we go back home that doesn't go bad. So far, it's this. Exactly. Finally, we get some adventure. Into the wilderness. Everyone, whenever we go out in the wilderness, we always have some people that are like, what the heck? You guys are gonna frack and die. We might. We might. We didn't bring any water. We never frack and do. <laughs> we just we just got out of a car and we're like, ah, oh, let's just walk. Didn't bring anything. And then see a path into the woods. Ah, oh, let's just go. We kind of like sit there and stare at it for a few seconds. Ah! This is a weird place. We are flattening out here. Are we getting close to the top? We've been going up for a while. From the car we've walked about a mile. We probably walked half of that on the road and then since then we've just been going straight fracking up. Jeebers, that one's slingshot, boy. That's so cool, all the trees just have vines with leaves on them. Check those out. There's a caterpillar was on me. What the frack? The fracker? I might have murked him. Suddenly I go like this and I feel something scoosh around me. I'm like, ah. Did it like fall or where was it? I don't know. I'm sorry if you're dead. Oh no, you're all right. I'm gonna scrooge him a little bit. Yeah, look at these trees. Um. Did we just lose the path? Is that it? It's literally... It's we followed an animal trail and this is where they come and this is where they fracking sleep. I forgot about those fracking huge boar they have here. Oh no. All of a sudden we hear... <laughs> the frack. Oh. This is truly a Georgian adventure like no other. Go and try to find a travel vlog where somebody does this. I don't think so. Subscribe! And the path kind of just disappeared. I don't know what's up here. I mean, maybe there's adventures to be had just walking up that way. But look at this place. It is so green and beautiful and just vegetated. Very nice time. Amazing. It's amazing out here. It's uh, just listen. What the heck was that? That was the ugliest sounding bird I've heard. I wonder where that could be. Oh, I don't know. It's just birds, leaves, and wind. I never want to go back to a city again. Let's just say that. But we still haven't found the tribesmen. Where the frack are they? We never will find them. Ah! Wait. Did you just hear that? Hello? <laughs> Check the trees. Hello? Hello? So many of them. Wait. Wait, here, take this. The drums? Um. Are those cannibal drums? They're getting closer. <laughs> oh, frack. Oh, frack. Ah! Oh, 
Um, Tyler? I don't know if this is the same trail anymore. I'm just, oh, I just need to find a way back. Tyler's a gone deal for sure. I don't know if I remember any of this stuff. Oh, oh no. I need to go quick. Oh. That was the adventure into the Georgian woods. I mean, who, never, who knows, we could get lost on the way out here somehow. Tragic. <laughs> but the uh, trail led us to that area and then it kind of just disappeared. So we could have kept walking, but we probably would have got lost. Next time. There's a snake. It's dead. Is it in half or is it just the whole thing? It's dead. Rip that snake. It was supposed to be a crappy day today. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's friggin' perfect out here. It's a beautiful day. Dun, dun, dun. dun. Super dirty boots. Yay! <laughs> we are in the Katoisi downtown. Oh, look at that fancy hotel. Uh, the owner of the hotel that we stayed at last night recommended a place downtown. From uh, his description, it is. Very nice owner. Yeah, really nice. Gave us chocolate. He did! What a nice guy! So we're gonna go check that place out. Ch check out the town. It looks pretty cool, actually. When we drove through this area last time, we didn't get to see like the whole city. It's way bigger than we expected. But uh, let's go see what we can find. Let's go do it. Oh man, <laughs> that looks like a picture where they'd be like, oh nice shirt dude, let me take a picture of you. And it's just like, really awkward. <laughs> That's <a> little... <laughs> All right, let's try to cross the road somewhere. Well, let's do it. Huh? There it is. Baraka. See how this place is? It's if it's not a mwah, then I'm disappointed. Oh look a waterfall. And some guy sitting. Oh sick. Is that uh Bartholomew? Bartholomew. It, it has to be. He's all over Europe. There he is again. Alright, we got something different. A little biani with ham. But it seems like the ham is on top. Maybe it's dispersed inside, but this is like a bean filled pastry. Uh, should be interesting. Not what I expected. Let's do it. Bean boy, bean boy. Hot boy, hot boy. Alright, chunk that bracket. How beany is it gonna be? be? Hot. Beanie? It's pretty beanie, and then the bread, of course, is so good. Ooh. Might have like a hint of spice, I'm not sure. Okay, okay. It Which, tastes really good. That's good. Wow, well, the background looks so cool, but you're just dark. <laughs> Oh, 
This is kind of like a roast, or like a, a hot roast type of thing. I think it's really good. It's a really weird texture. It's kind of like dry on the outside, but it's hot. So it was obviously cooked in some sort of contraption. And the flavor of it is amazing. The bread is really good. The spices of the beans, the bean itself, the bean taste itself, really good. I'm not the biggest bean guy, but. That's pretty good. Lobiani with ham. First time we've gotten this. Got the lemonade again. <laughs> it's so bragging sweet. One of my favorite Georgian dishes. <laughs> Look at that. The potatoes are massive in this one. We got some peppers in there. It's hot as nuts, but it's looking tasty. Dang. Has it got egg soup? Uh, as it's called, I got cheesy beefy. Cheesy <laughs> beefy. Uh, with beef filling. It is. It's very wet. He just smacked his tail on the table. Hey, good boy. Uh, the tiny bit I touched to my tongue uh, tasted like King Kong. Oh, baby. Like, the beef is like exactly the king, one of the King Kong's. And then. So it's basically just like pepper, egg, and then can call it meat. Final, final thoughts? Pretty, pretty good. Wow. I would probably just take Kinkali instead. With the extra protein with the egg. Exactly. Instead of, instead of it. Instead of the carb outside, it's extra protein. Straight egg. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Hi. Hey buddy. Come here. Uh, I'll give you a little potato, okay? Chill out. He sat down and Chill out. Hey. One second. Sorry, I'm not tricking you. Here. Here. I'll give you some potato, okay? So you catch? Excited. You catch? Hey. Good job. Good boy. Why did we just have authentic Georgian food? You could get some non-spicy spicy nuggets. Oh, those are delicious. All right, I'm gonna go get two uh, McFlurries <laughs> quick. It's a reference to what he got yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it was too much. This is a cool square. They got it all shut down because it's Georgian Independence Day tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow when we're in the city, uh, tomorrow night we'll be able to see what they're doing for festivities. But they got it all shut down. They got a big stage. They're ready to go. Fourth of July in the U.S., they're just like, go to your family's house, shoot off some fireworks, Even eat some food. fireworks are illegal in most states. Or not most states, a decent amount of states. In our state, they are. You can only shoot the stupid ones that just go on the ground. So we have to go to the bordering state, to our grandma's house, okay. and then we shoot them off. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice. The sun. It kind of, it's a little chilly over there in the shade, but in the sun, my gosh, it's beautiful. Got a nice church on top of the hill. That church reminds me of the uh, Akieri in Iceland. This is kind of the city around it and there's just a church on a hill. We're back in Europe. It's been a while. All the EU flags. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> it's a different vibe. I mean, even compared to Dubai, which is a pretty western, eastern city, it's just a different vibe. It feels more familiar to us, obviously. We don't stick out as much. No, we definitely don't. A lot less stairs. A lot less stairs. Oh, nice. We are the only ones that we've seen that are wearing both a short and a t-shirt. <laughs> Da -da -da -da. 
That guy did the full stare. He's still looking. <laughs> still looking. <laughs> Whatever. Is it the camera? Hopefully. It's either the camera or my brightness. It's the brightness paired with the muddy hiking <laughs> True. These things are so muddy. We just we literally walked through mud for an hour straight through the middle of the fragged woods. You just got thorned over and over. Uh, my legs don't itch anymore. They were pretty itchy there at the end when they were pink. We took a look at our car and there's a lot of scratches on it. Oof. We're gonna get uh, charged when we bring it back to the rental place. Oh wait! We bought it! Get wrecked! The, uh, the cheapest way to rent a car probably for us. If we wanted to rent a car in Italy or even like, like Italy or anywhere in Western Europe, even Croatia, it would have been like a thousand bucks a fracking week. So... Even though we've only used this thing a week, we will probably get our value. We will. Uh, there's like the bazaar up here we can check out. How bizarre. Oh, definitely. The bazaar. Oh. It's crazy just comparing this to like the India market. How many less people than there are? True, the India market was nuts. And it's a lot more organized. No offense, India market. Which way should we go? Don't. Oh, they have the mysterious liquids in jars. <laughs> I'm very intrigued, <laughs> but afraid. <laughs> they had a lot of them in uh, like Sprite bottles. And yeah. Bottles. I don't know what. Like, it's probably good, because it's like homemade juice, but this probably just says, don't record, don't record, don't record. You can tell it's not catered for a tour. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely not. Angry. Oh, this is an interesting one. It's like, it's like under an, it's under a bridge. I the last one was like in that old train station area. Are they they making use of the space. Yeah, they fill the spaces. Let's see what's on here. Ooh. Old town area. Cool. That's a, they have, there's a lot of like really just suddenly <laughs> steep. It's like a cliff, but you can't see it that Just so vegetated. This may be people's houses. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> but uh, we can get to see. Oh, these are these. These are probably getting close to those cliff houses. That's the road on the other side of the river. Oh. Can, should we not kind of be like, hi, can we see your cliff house? Cliff house, cliff house. Do you have a... Uh, beans, four beans. Do you just poop out a hole into the river? Heading up to this church. Seems to be a big lookout spot up there. There's a lot of people. Back to this river. This bridge is pretty cool. Just seems like super old, like early industrial era bridge. That water. I want to go down in those rocks. Is this like Bosnia? Can we jump into the river from up here? <laughs> I think so. Very good. They have an actual diving uh, coach and stuff for it. That Bosnia one looks scary as nuts. It's I so high. The uh, the video I watched of it 
Just imagine falling 70 feet or however the fracking tall it is. That would be so freaky. This one you'd jump and then... You wouldn't uh, be able to get up very easily. you just just... And then you'd be gone. <laughs> Dang. I want to get a kayak from the mangroves and just oh. go down this fragging thing. Extreme kayaking. Hopefully it's the same as the mangroves booking wise where they just kind of like shove you off and don't even tell you anything and they probably <laughs> didn't care if you never returned. Yeah, I, I'm down with that. It would be it would be an adventure. Oh, mangy, mangy. If you haven't seen our mangrove vlog, you can click uh, the link on the video. We have so many vlogs. We have so many vlogs from three different countries. So you'll have a lot to choose from. And then some from Italy and then uh, one from Poland. And then we might be posting our Iceland vlog soon from that Italy trip as well. So I'll be ready for that. Um, You're saying the hostel. Because that's the hostel is to the left. Yes. So we should be able to get there this way. Just oh, going up these the stairs, steps. These stairs are getting tired. <sighs> Good night nice rest area here. Oh, perfect. All right, rest complete. Let's go. <laughs> An offshoot needs to be taken at all times. Uh, it's to a house, I think. That's so far <laughs> crazy. These houses. People just live on the side of a cliff and to get to their house they have to walk up this path and take this hiking trail to get to their front door. Don't know where they put their car. I don't know how they bring up their groceries. What happens if they bought a new TV? Oh, we got a nice shine from the sun. Dang, yeah, this is going to be a nice one. Nice one! Oh, nice Let's dude! Go. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Here's what a mountain Katayasi neighborhood looks like. That is pretty spiffy. Uh, there's so much more life here now that it's green. I know, it's not... I wonder what that one city uh, on the way that we stopped in would look like. Oh, it looked pretty cool. It was so snowy and... Everything was dead when we were there. And now look at it. It's vibrant. So vibrant. Ooh, that was, I just took a shot of the sun right to the eyeballs. Dang. Katayasi is cool. Too bad we're only here for a day and a half. Let's see this view. Are they, are these just people asking for money? Or are they gonna charge us to go into here? I am gonna charge us any of the other ones, but we're about to find out. We don't have any cash. Uh, oh. Polish. English? No, this one is good. I just might just be too. Really I don't think I have any money. I don't have any. No? Huh? No. No. Nope. No. No. Okay. No, it's from Dubai. Water. We were a little confused, I think. Wait, epic shot. Oh, that's thumbnail worthy right there. Oh, hey, Doggo. Doggo just fell through that little thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. But, uh, I wasn't 100% sure whether she was asking for money or she was the entrance. <laughs> she was at the entrance. <laughs> so. We kind of just walked back. Wow. That's a great, oh, the mountains are so big back there. 
Oh, but there's that mountain with a tiny little church on top of it. Oh, that's... <laughs> Dang. The views we got. Beautiful. You got the big Soviet buildings right down there. <laughs> Cool, cool. That's this view right there, I think. Unless you can see over those trees from up there. Let's try both. Oh, oh, we go on to the wall. Hey guys, hey guys. That's far. Really? I almost fell into that. Oh, jeez. Oh. the old shimmy shimmy. Shimmy shimmy. What the frack? How is that so far down? Oh, that did not feel very good. Oh, wait. Oh! I don't oh. know if you're in it, but. That's not beautiful. Dang, what a view. Dang, it's literally a 360 cool view. You got the church, the rolling mountains with a big boy back there, more rolling mountains with the river, the city with the massive boys in the background. It's beautiful. It is a 360 panel. The only place that would be better would be atop of the church. Wowzers. <laughs> What a nice day. I'm so glad it ended up like this. I was going to be disappointed. I thought it was going to rain the whole fracking time we were here. We get to do something on this week, over week long journey back home. <laughs> it's been terrible until we got to Georgia. And then finally, we're back. Let's follow along this wall. It goes <laughs> just straight into the woods. I mean, this is like a really cool spot just out here in the city. Didn't know it existed until we just saw it from down in the down there. Beautiful. Wow, that sun is so bright. Hi, hi guys. Hi. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> We're just walking on a friggin' old fortress wall. Hello? Where did it go? Oh, the fortress wall. It's gone? How do you get over there? The fracker. Rip the fortress. Walk in, walk in, walk in. So much hiking today, it's you gotta have your hiking boots on standby. You just, you need to just always have them on and never take them off. I've worn these things for the last five months of my life. I like it. <laughs> I forgot I have shoes in the car somewhere. Yeah, chilling. I saw them down in the bottom. What the heck? I forgot about my shoes. Oh. 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 Hole. Oh, that looks like a tribal hole to me. That looks like an epic hole. How do we get to an epic hole? There's a path right there. We went in a cave in India. Now we're going into wall, hole in a wall in Georgia. What? Oh. Oh, that's so cool. We're in a wall. This is not much left. Ooh, should kick it. What the heck? It's so overgrown. This will be society and our civilization after the nuclear war. 
Except there'll be rad roaches all over the place. They, they're the only thing they can survive. Oh, frack, rad roaches. All out. I'm glad to not have to see any roaches anymore going back home. All right, let's see where this path leads us. A lot of random paths. There's only one thing to do for tick repellent. I used to do it all the time when I was a kid. Just hop like a fracker. Oh, and don't fall in a hole. Too fast to catch ticks. This is very vegetated. Oh, frack, that is fun. That wall's so high. We're not gonna be able to get off it. That was a massive drop-off, but if it was, I almost fell in. Where? Right here. I put my foot right there, and this it ends right there. That's where I freaking did it on the other one. It was just a fracking hole. Oh yeah, that is pretty far down. You would have fell a good ten feeter. There's stairs into the door. What the frack? We took the more adventurous way. What the frack? That would have been a wall all the way around there. That's crazy. That looks fake. It looks like, literally looks like they just copied it from a movie. That's so spooky. I heard there was a troll that lived in these walls before. Does he ever ask for tolls? He does. A lot of fracking tolls. Troll toll. That's our way in right there. You have to jump across ground oh. like a video game. All right. We. It's close. How do we get up this fragger? It kind of just goes into the woods. <laughs> yeah, and the walls up there. Okay. Ah. Uh, it's a little vegetated. Is there a drop off? No, it just goes down. Huh? You really gotta scrunch up to get in here. Yeah, it's very scrunchy. That has been a theme of the hiking trails today. Getting scrunched. Ah, uh, it wouldn't be any fun if we didn't scrunch. Oh, we can get on this section of the wall. I don't know if that helped us. All right, you ready? What would be dangerous? This would be dangerous to climb up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, you got this? Easy. That is, that is asking for death. Especially if you want to get down. Well, we got on the lower part of this wall. We got a river view. Look at that. Oh, look at how green that hill is. This place is just so green. I mean, it's evident from the scrunching we've had to do. How green everything is. It's crazy. It's so beautiful. <laughs> drop over there. There's a much to, <laughs> much room to move. Oh, oh. All right, let's see this drop. Oh, amateur, I could survive that. You'd end up on the road. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, fracker that's far. It's really sunny right now. <laughs> Can't see anything. This guy. Frack you, dude. That is so pokey. We made it. Tick check. Tick check, too. Tick check. Tick check. What an epic spot. 
Oh. Just looks like a, like a medieval fort that you'd see from a movie, like Braveheart. Amazing. Amazing. And there's a beautiful church next to it, huh? And then a beautiful view. What a spot. If you're, if you're coming to Kataisi, this is where you want to go, huh? And then stay at the hotel that we stayed at. Yeah, it was nice. I forgot what it's called. Uh, hotel Harmony. Ah, stay there. The owner was really cool. Yeah, he gave us chocolate. And you can come up here with your love and have a picnic. Perfect. Jaja. Jaja. Beautiful. And that's Kutaisi. Might be one, one or two more things we stop by on our way out, but we have a one more day left in Georgia. And uh, we got Gory, Lacey National Park, and things in the city to still do, like drop off our car. So we got a lot to do, a lot to see. Definitely we'll be coming back here. Seems like a lot to do. Beautiful scenery. This city alone, we have so much more to see. Let alone the little cities around, the fragged nature. The entire country. The entire country. It's amazing. All right, we back. See you later, Georgia. Maybe this fall, maybe next spring. We'll see. The winter. Eh, yeah, we'll we see. experience part of the winter. We'll go to Thailand in the winter. <laughs> Well, we've continued exploring Kutaiser. In that meaning part Bay. Mm -hmm. The very European looking section of this city, just like in Tbilisi, they have the same thing. Look at how fancy this place is. Possibly twins dressing in the same outfit. Aw snap. Those aren't twins. The world is meaningless. A couple months ago we posted a video of uh, us driving from Tbilisi to Kutaisi to go to Abu Dhabi and it is not even looking like the same country at this point. It is so lush and green and before it was just like wide open and barren it's so interesting it's a two months difference crazy and uh that was our day in kataisi here really cool area really fun hiking to do and a lot of things to see there's still more like we said <laughs> heading to gory hopefully our headlights work at night they're terrible We'll see. We might just have to rock with the brights the whole way if they're <laughs> if the brights end up being pretty dark too. Uh, hope you enjoyed the vlog. See you in the next one. Bye. -bye. Bye.